Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Wood Mill Incorporated. Now, a lot of people have been asking questions. A lot of people have been sending me direct messages asking, Code, I thought you said at the first. Yeah, I did. I did. And I talked with the developers and I talked with the team and some of them are going to be on holiday. There's a couple others that don't feel like it's quite ready. And I said, like, give me, give me a date. Give me, give me something to shoot for. And they said, possibly the 10th. I said, are you kidding me? Are you serious? It's going to be the 10th. I was telling, I was telling everybody into July, beginning of August. And like, I'm devastated, but it's fine. It's fine. We will, it will be free. Okay. A lot of people have been commenting. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. It's going to be free. I promise the game will be different. We are going to change things like the next update that's coming. You guys are going to be like mind blown. It is, it is so it's, it's huge. I've seen the things that they are doing and I am thoroughly impressed. Uh, bump, 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 get those down. And is there, is there a way to, hold on. There is no way to do this, is there? Hold on. There we go, all right. So let's pick up this first and then this second, and then that way one, two, one, two. There we go, okay, cool. So uh, I went ahead and rezzed over here closer to the beach just because I wanted to kind of hang out um, on the shoreline for a little bit. Maybe do some long planky plankies, but you know, who knows? It's whatever we want to do today. I wanted to uh, just get in here and announce the big, oh gosh, the big thing about the updates. Like a lot of people have been saying, this is just a ripoff. It's just a ripoff. And then um, it's not, it is inspired by, and it's completely written from scratch. There's, there's no stolen materials here at all. All right, it, it would be, it would be like you saying, Pokemon Brick Bronze is a ripoff of Pokemon. Is it? Because they didn't really like steal anything. I guess that's not really true. They stole the assets of the, of the, uh, the two dimensional gifts. So those, those were copyrightable. But I mean, still, it, that's different lumen legacy is lumen legacy a ripoff of um of pokemon brick bronze there you go or just <laughs> wait no no no. That, scratch that scratch that don't answer that question is lumen legacy a ripoff of pokemon there we go that's that's what i want to know down in the comments comment it out let me know what you think it's up to you your choice. Okay. Ow, ow, hold on a second. My foot got caught. <clears throat> I don't think any updates have been released since last time we, we uh, checked around here. I do know that there was um, some excitement. I'm going to grab a TNT here. Oh, also somebody said that uh, somebody had figured out an exploit for exploding like all the trees at one time. I don't know if it's true. I haven't seen it. But if there's videos of it, if somebody's got uh, some awesomeness of it, I would love to see it. Oh wait. Okay, hold on. Did I not buy that? Come on, Dave. You sure you want to purchase dynamite? Yes. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I don't have enough money. What? How much money do I have? I've only got $29. Oh my goodness, Dave. You drive a hard bargain. Oxyhydro. Whoa. I like the name, but I can't accept your friend request, dude. I've only got so much room in in the friend bank. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on. Uh, oh, by the way, I love the idea of a lumber truck, like a, like a semi truck but I don't know if that's going to happen. Like it could happen and we absolutely could have like these massive semis pulling trailers and stuff like that. It's a good thought, 
I like that idea. And I love where your guys' ideas are coming from and the, the thought of a, a trade shop or an auction house, stuff like that. You guys are coming up with brilliant ideas. Um, if you want to take your, your idea seriously and not just a, as a comment suggestion, I highly recommend heading over to the, um, to the Discord. It should be in the game description down below. Um, but head over there, or if you want to head into my Discord, uh, either way. But I'm, I'm promoting my Discord, discord.gg forward slash code primate. And then the link to um, the game Discord is inside the game description. So either way. Um, but over there on the, the Discord for the game, we have a suggestions channel. And they get marked whenever the developers look at the idea. And it either gets like a thumbs up, an okay, or like a... a X for no no go because there's there's still a ton of ideas that you guys have that we haven't heard how do you want this game to be shaped uh, whenever I suggested the mines and having uh, pickaxes and stuff like that for like minerals to create different types of axes somebody straight up said no code don't do that it's called Woodmill Incorporated not mine mill incorporated or something like that like it was a, kind of a snarky remark but at the same time that's very impressionable and that was a remark that i needed like yeah this is lumber you know it's it's trees it's woodsman's it's not mining haven or uh Ber Bereza? is that who does mining haven so Absolutely. I 100% I agree. It was a bad idea for me to suggest it. Suggest. Suggest. It was a bad idea for me to suggest it. And we need to keep it in the idea of what, what the game is about, you know? It's about creativity, building, milling wood. Discovery and adventure. Come on. Why are you being such a pain in the butt? There we go. <clears throat> Good. So, I love the suggestions. I love the ideas. I love where you guys are going with these ideas. And I can't wait for this thing to be free for all. Because the moment it goes free, it, it's going to get saturated. They're, you guys are just going to attack this thing and I can't wait till you guys see the special gift the pre alpha gift uh, a lot of people are worried code will the alpha axe still be in the game yes because it's not in alpha yet the game's not been released for alpha it's still in pre alpha state that's why you have to pay for it what that doesn't make sense code why would you pay for a game before it's released because you guys were asking for it. Like there were so many people just bugging me. And I thought, you know what? If you're seriously, if you seriously want to play it and you're not just bugging me about it, pay 800 Robux. I mean, that's expensive. That is even their, uh, te <coughs> Vertasia, even Vertasia. No, it's not Vertasia. It's the role playing game. It was only like 200 or something like that. And I bought that back whenever I thought, really, I'm gonna pay for a Roblox game? Up until then, it was like all Roblox passes, you know, game passes, stuff like that. But I came to realize that game development is hard. It's really hard. And it, just because it's Roblox doesn't make it like a lot easier because there's still programming that even I don't know. Like, I'm good. I know multiple different languages, but I don't have time to sit down and do this on the daily, a daily basis. Hi, Joe. What do you know? <clears throat> I guess I do have time to sit down and play it on a daily basis. <laughs> so that's a little bit of an understatement. But when it comes to actually like developing games and stuff, I only get like a short amount of time and I go through these bouts of what's interesting to me. 
and sometimes I'm just not interested in programming a Roblox game. Sometimes I want to make a bot, or sometimes I want to go play VR. Like right now, I'm I am craving to go jump into some Population One on VR headset. If you guys have not seen it or heard of it or played it, dang it, I'm going to be selling off long planks, aren't I? <laughs> My bad. My bad. Sorry. Got to put this all the way up. Okay. Cancel. Can we go up to... We cannot go up to three. Do they still have the experimental uh, sawmill for sale? Or no? Hi, buddy. Hi, Code. It's Lopping King. Hi, buddy. I've got my chat off. I'm sorry. You'll see it in tomorrow's video, though. It's fine. You're probably sending me a message on Twitter right now. I can just hear it now. Bing! Because you think that I'm ignoring you. I promise, I'm not ignoring you. And if you happen to get into a game with me, just know I'm not trying to ignore you, I promise. And I had an idea. Since we could do it with the cart the other day, where you stand on so top of something and grab something else, I was wondering if you could do it with these. Idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Hold on. We're gonna need money though. Okay. Let's back this up. I love that the nighttime music actually changes. All right, and I know I was making fun of the music, but it's very calming, very relaxing. And I can't get over the fact that I, I'm reminded of Treelands every single time I uh, play this because of the first song. And for those of you that don't know, uh, Treelands was created by a group of people that included uh, New Fissy. New Fissy is the developer of Adopt Me. So you may not have heard of Treelands, but you definitely know what Adopt Me is. <sighs> Yo, what's up, buddy? Just hanging, just chilling. Down by the beach. Right by the beach. Ah, bye. Hold on. I need to go and sell these two, but. This is gonna be very difficult to like take them along with me. Hold on. All right. Whoa. Are those long planks? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. These are the mighty long planks. In fact, I should probably make t-shirts saying, do you even long plank, bro? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I might have to walk these in. Maybe not. Maybe not. All right, let's give it a try. Oh, that is sweet. that is sick. That is awesome. Watch, it's like a dog running through a gate with a, a stick in its mouth. Blah. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> come on, come on. There we go. There we go. All right. Please, please, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to, sorry, 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 hold on, let's make this simpler, there we go, would you please just get in there and sell, <laughs> by the way, I love that it fades now instead of just disappearing, it makes it much more friendly, I guess. If that's the word for it. Much more unique. All right, turn, 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 come on. Whenever you look up into the sky, it oh gosh. It makes turning these things much easier. Lift. Okay, lift up and turn and down. 
Oh gosh. Really is a long plank. I can't, I can't, I can't even. Maybe I can odd. Um, that works. I just need to push it forward. There we go. Good deal. Lol, nice. Okay, so if we are allowed to grab these, right? But we're not allowed to touch them when we're standing on them. Maybe if I put two side by side, can I grab the one that's below me? Almost. Hmm. What if I offset it just a little bit? Oh, I can't grab that one. Oh, oh! Oh. Could do it for just a second. <laughs> it's like it, it free falls for a second and opens up. Funnel conveyor, large sawmill. Did we get the large sawmill? I think we did. 6,000. Where's the test sawmill? Tilted conveyors. Normal conveyor. Turn conveyor, okay. So, I think we have everything. We've got everything that's been released so far. Um, let's see, do I have enough for this? How, how much are these? 150? I think I got enough. Code primate. Code primate. Yeah, we got enough. I think. I've got about 2,000. Just under. Do you want to purchase dynamite for 150? Yes. Thank you for your purchase. Please come again. You are welcome. So. Oh, I already had a piece of dynamite, didn't I? I don't know whose dynamite that is, but is definitely not mine. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I can't remember. Okay, we need to put on settings, shift lock. Is this it right here? I can't remember where it's at. Okay, let me get in the car. Let me get in the car. It might not be out yet. I don't know. Don't be mad at me. Okay, I don't think it's out yet. Or is it possibly over here? Could be, could be anywhere. We don't know. Here, you know what? I'm just gonna toss this down. Let's just try it somewhere down here. I don't think it's here, but. Back up, back up. Explosion. Anything? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, does explosions hurt the trees? Have we tried? I haven't even experimented with it. Ooh. Oh, I just scratched my nose too hard. Oh no. Hold on a second. Okay, all better, I think. I, I think we're okay, so. Um, Asta over here was uh, trying to do a wall jumpy glitch thingy with his alpha axe and lost it. So I ended up giving him mine and I just went ahead and rezzed myself a new one, which it's kind of cheating. In fact, it's, yeah, that's big. Not supposed to do that yet. Is this mine? Let me go check this. That's, that's yours, buddy. That's yours. Wanna grab it? 
You can grab it if you want to. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Now, here's the thing. The car is under my local networking. So whenever I move, my client has to send it to the server, which gets replicated to uh, Asta. That's how the movement works, which is also why the dynamite, which is under his possession, gets moved after it's received and it gets replicated on my client from the server. So when I try and drive, whoop, hold on. When I try and drive, there's this big delay, which technically it's not, it's not bad, but it's just, oh, oh sorry, 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 sorry. Oh wait, I wanted to see if TNT would uh, chop trees. That's what I was doing. Okay. So I think I, I think I answered all the questions uh, for you guys. Now I know a lot of you uh, are starting back in on school this week. All right. So congratulations to those of you who are transitioning from middle school to high school. Congratulations on those of you who are going from elementary to middle school. Um, it is going to be a new stage in your life. And yes, it's scary. It is a transition. It is a change. For any of you who have ever had to move before, so you're changing school, my heart goes out to you. Because, I mean, I am still not used to all the, all the new stuff that we have. It's just incredible it's uh it's an incredible change i'm excited for the change but it's different you know so apparently dynamite does not affect trees hmm i'll have to go in and fix that we are definitely gonna have to fix that that is that's a no-go zone that's a no-no okay uh, just remember, you can always fill up blueprints for your buddies, or you could fill blueprints and sell them as full stocks for your your uh, profit and benefit. Uh, I would say, once this goes free and you want to, you could come in here and take the time to grab one of these blueprints, fill it in with all the blueprints, right, and then sell it off. So, how much is one of these blueprints worth? All right, a full blueprint. Let's take a look. Each one of these, I think, is 80. Let me just take a random peek. 80 and 80. Oh. Tiny smooth wall corner. <gasps> what? We got wall corners? Nice. 80. I think they're all 80. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they are all 80. So, 2, 4, 6, 8. Who do we appreciate? Code Prime 8. No. 2, 4, 6, 8. 10, 12, 14, 16, 20. So there's 20 over there. 246, 2468, 2468, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So, okay, Google. What's 16 plus 20 plus 6 plus 8? That's taking way too long. Calculator. All right, 20 plus 16 plus six plus eight. There's 50 blueprints times 80. That's $4,000. So uh, whenever you're doing entrepreneurship or doing uh, your own thing, 200% uh, markup is supposed to be um, resale value, retail value. When calculating retail value, how much should you increase the price? 13 pricing strategies for good ideas. Okay, let's see here. Second step, some random YouTube. Um, do you want to create your online store? No, I don't want to do that. What happened there? Hey, how did I die? Wait a sec. What just happened? <laughs> uh, 
Okay, Ryan. Hold on a second. Okay, so apparently Ryan's got jokes. <laughs> and he, he didn't do it through the scripting. He, he actually, he did a, um, a, what's it? He did a, he did a thing, a TNT. But it was through the wall, so it didn't recognize that I was an innocent bystander. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is this. Just for fun, as an accident, oopsies. <laughs> Alright, game dot work space colon find first child. What is it? Ryan? Like that? Um, dot humanoid dot health equals zero. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> okay, I need to find out what his name is. All right, so let's close that. Ryan, our vine, our vine. Okay, so F9, let's do it again. By the way, you guys can't do this. This is, this is a developer thing. What happened? I have no cl What happened, Ryan? <laughs> oh man, that was good. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Woodmill Incorporated with me, Heath Askins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things as well as call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. I better get out of here before he uh, seeks vengeance on me. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I'm running away. I'm running away. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we will talk to you very soon. Outro. Oh, I guess I, I need to actually select outdoor, don't I? Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com.